Right? That's hilarious. How is that hilarious, sounds? I kind of find it weird that he thinks it's funny that there's human. It's like, I get it. You don't, you're not funny to do your job at all. But, like. Conveniently shaped lamp. It really is conveniently shaped, isn't it? She is so silly. This is a man who deserves the silly, the silly title. Han doesn't deserve it because of what he just did in genocide. But oh my God, Papyrus deserves that silly, that, that silly title. He's so silly. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. And I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. Who will act to be my friend? I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sometimes you are not helping, you lazy bones. Well, technically he is, because Frisk is behind that lamp. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten some fun of work done today. A skeleton. You are not funny, songs. I am, and I hate it. So, why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. There's a really good fan song named that to the bone or something. Because oh my god, I love that song. It's such a classic Undertale song. And it's uh, it really matches their personalities too. Eh. I come first to sign the part with like, what? Well, you just you 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 nearly ran me out. You're not helping. Don't worry, he's not dangerous even if he tries to be. I like that. He's not a dangerous if he tries to be. Put everything in there. Put the cup above. I'll get the spider donut out later. Um. Check. Better not snowflake out. You're not funny. You are terrible at these jokes, but we will laugh because that's what we just pair you. There's a few times where um I, I've done this battle and I tried to laugh, but it just didn't work. So I didn't know how to spare them them. I, it took me a while. Oh no wrong number song? Or is that somewhere else? I think that's somewhere else. I don't know what my fun value is. So, if we get any Easter eggs, that would be fantastic. Imagine we get Gaster. That is fun values. What is the fun value? I forgot the fun value for Gaster. Fun value chart. Gaster is around um sixty six. I don't know what my fun value is though. Maybe we will get. I don't know. I hope we get the wrong number song. Honestly, that's such a silly fun song. I've gotten it before though. And I was so confused, I was like, is this supposed to happen? But apparently it's not, it's a spun value, it's an Easter egg. Well, I mean, technically it is, but it isn't. 
suck it up for you. You are not funny, sons. You are not silly. Okay, so... Well, no. No call from um, uh, Alpheus or... Um, sons. So our fun value can't be in the 40s or the 50s. It could be, you know. Six. Six. We could get the big hallway. There's a good chance that we're not going to get gas though, because that's a 10%. Uh, but there's a good chance. Now we're going to steal. We're going to make them ice. Because extra gold. We need that gold. And it's technically not killing them. Still technically passive us. Sons. My butter has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, they'll move and it won't hurt you. Here's the easy way to keep it in mind. Not just a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red. So imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. I like that. It's a little thing that's awesome in the fandom. Oh my god, that's your dog! We're gonna pet to the max. Because, of course, we're gonna pet the max. Bless her dog. I love this little guy. Gone. Oh my god! He is so silly! There's no way to stop this like this. So your dog enters the realm of the clouds. You call the dog, but it is too late. It cannot hear you. You can reach L Lesser Dog again. You pet Lesser Dog. You pet. So little guy! I like how this implies that technically Lesser Dog could have freed all the humans. It's possible that you may have a problem. You don't have a problem, Kara. It's like Lesser Dog. It's possible that you may have a problem. This implies that Lesser Dog could bring them to ruins and pet. Um, let's go dog, and so he reaches the hole, but then again there is like a bit of a barrier there, so just give lesser dog a, um, give lesser dog human soul, pet, hot, and then boom, easy, destroyed, gone. It is possible that she may have a problem. No, Kara, I do not have a problem. Maybe Lesser Dog does, because this is bad for Lesser Dog. Lesser Dog is unpettable, but appreciates the attempt. I love that. Lesser Dog poke out. Silly! He's just slowly creeping out. He continues. He continues. This is so silly to me, this entire interaction. How wild that his tail is going too, like...
you've reached the absolute. Lesser dog is beyond your reach. Lesser dog has gone where no dog has gone before. 60 gold for that. I might use that. Don't know though. Oh, Alright, I still have to my knife. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. <laughs> it just implies that Papyrus doesn't sleep! How does this man have so much energy but doesn't sleep at all? Just casually really reveals the path. Ah. I don't know. I don't know. Back on there. Okay. Good. Ice cream guy! Should we get an ice cream? We're gonna get ice cream. Um, played a ball game for a while. Not for a little while, just, you know. G for this? I wonder if I should get the same thing. Although, I don't know how that one to get that one. I've gotten all the other stones before. There's not determination. There's like stuff. I've seen someone like lose like two hours of their, of their time just trying to get determination. And they did get it, but it took them two hours. Two hours that I do not have. Well, I technically. I'm not going to play Undertale straight for two hours and not play this. Yeah, I just um, <laughs> We don't have any snow. I mean, technically you do. Just look off the ground. It looks like a snowball, actually. It's a snow. The, uh, the, the head. I don't know. Wait, you reached the 12th hour mark. That's really cool. You are happy there. Um, nightmare puzzle? No nightmare puzzle. Okay, so that limits the fun value. To gives you absolutely nothing. Um, 2 through 39 gives you the wrong number song. The nightmare puzzle would have been 56 to 57. There's also the gaster followers, which is 61, 62, and 63. There's the sound test room, which is 65. The Fake hallway with the 10% chance for mystery man is 66, and then clown girl 80 to 89, and then goner kid 90 to 100. So we could be unlucky and have one of the fun values that just don't have anything. So I do hope that we get something, that we have at least something. Because that would be very cool. Oh my god, Jerry! Ugh. Take the extra kill normally. There we go. This guy. This guy. This we do 
so much pain during genocide. You can't spare him normally, you have to ditch him. I mean, he deserves it. He's such a t He's so difficult to, like, kill for, like, no reason. Like, why does this girl have so much HP in defense? He does nothing. He's a waste of time. But I'd always take the extra kill simply because we hate Jerry. Jerry's... Jerry's silly. But not in that way. He does not deserve the silly title. Okay. Another round. The, that attack is like really. first couple times playing this battle that attack was like so difficult to me but it's easy very easy oh wait was that random You can also skip some of these puzzles, not because genocide or whatever, but um, there's a certain switch. So we're gonna do it because we're pacifists, we must complete puzzles. This is the pacifist chief. Up. Okay, hang on. Let's reset. Two daisies. Okay. Shows how much I don't do pacifist. Sorry, guys. A little bit, um, a little bit too silly. Okay, hang on. I know I do this. I know I do this. Oh no, it's right. I did it. Exit right there. I didn't. I forgot what I was talking. Okay. We did it. I completely forgot how to do it for a while, but. <laughs> Sounds so lazy! our first Metaton encounter too. Which is so interesting to me because Metaton here bears you. But then the rest of the time we see Metaton, Metaton's just genocidal. He wants you gone. That means that um, the altercation 
where um, Alfie's makes him want to kill humans that happens after the snow encounter after this. I think I made a dog too excited. He's rubbing his little fingers. Oh no! Wait, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna fall real quick. I did that immediately. Wrong, um, because I forgot this one. Yep. This one is really easy. You just gotta remember. I won't lie. First time playing this game. I struggled hard on this. I think we all did the puzzles first time. Sure, we'll do a hard on them because, you know, you don't expect it. But, you don't know. Well, I got the most basic one. I got the house. Eh, I'll do. <sighs> this place is so, oh my god. I have such a fan game brain rot because I know, like, in a different fan game, that would have been such a bad area to be in. Eh, I still need G inside this. What is it? It's so me. I'll be like, okay, this, this, this is what this is, this is what this is. I'll repeat it over and over, and then I'll completely forget about it when I need to remember what it is. Spider dog. Um, I don't know that's bad. Yes. This is the one battle where, um, I know how to spare it, but at the same time, it's iffy. I don't remember. I just kind of do whatever. Okay. Out. Oh, okay. Good. Without any mistakes. Maybe I do know that attack secretly. I just kind of forgot for a moment. Your final and most dangerous challenge. Hold the silly tower. I love the dog just spinning. Annoying dogs, it's silly. It's also karma later in Papyrus' battle where uh, the dog steals Papyrus' special attack. It's like, I mean, you did hang bro up on a line. It made him just spin there. Then again, looks like he's enjoying it. He's just sitting there. He has a spell to understand it. Away it goes. Yeah. Yeah. I love Papyrus. He's like one of my favorite characters, along with Kara and Frisk. I'm basic, but I got good choice. Oh, I'm so used to him telling me to go to that. Um, I'm gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Or do not bite, bite papyrus. Listen, I'm not very much- I don't do pacifists too often. Mainly because they don't feel like doing it. And like, it's like, genocide's fun! Okay. Full inventory, let's go! Full of cinnamon buns. Because these are pretty good. So they're full heal throughout the entirety of pacifists. So. Um. 
this alien. HP. Now we have 30 HP. Whoa, we killed him in our sleep. Or something. Let's see, want a number song? What was that earlier? No. It kind of sucks that we didn't get the wrong number song if it's not here. Yeah, oh, that sucks. Wait, oh, we got it! We got the wrong number song! Yay! Oh, it was the wrong number! It's the wrong number song. I'm very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong number, the wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. So that means our fun value was... Let me look it up. I didn't even think, like, I was just commenting like, oh, we didn't get it, and then we get it. That's awesome. It's like the game now. Okay, so our fun value was between 2 and 39. I don't know my, the exact fun value because that's such a wide range, but we did get something, and I'm very happy about that. That is so that is so funny to me. The joy of finding another pasta lover. Just go to Italy, Virus. Honestly, if Virus needs to go to Italy, he will be so happy there. He would. I feel like he'd be the type of person to bring pasta though. Not realizing the sin that he did. It was member of the royal guard. <laughs> Look at him! He's such a silly little guy. I'm gonna throw this in real quick. I can make this joke. I can make this joke then. There. I wonder if you can, like. Oh, okay. But ask, like. I wonder if you can like fully dodge his attack if that's possible. But we cannot this way in this. Ow, that hurt! Find the world! You're blue now. That's my attack. I love him. He's such like he's such a favorite. Like you can't not like Pyrus. People people say that Berkeley is like Pyrus. And all I have to say to those people is that you're completely wrong. Birdly is annoying. The pirates is amazing. I don't get people who think Birdly and the pirates are at all. Popular. Like, we're like, Birdly simps for Susie. For what purpose? He's never nice to Chris. And tries to take credit for what Chris does. He's got the biggest eagle I've ever seen in my life. I just think Pyrus, like, he's like, You're great! Not as great as me, though! But he doesn't say it in a mocking way. He says it in, like, he's self-confident. And I love that about Pyrus. He's so self-confident in himself. And he, but he does acknowledge, like, Hey, you're pretty good, too. But in my eyes, you're not as good as me because I'm perfect in my special way. And I love that. He is so amazing. That's what the fire scramble for the stream. <laughs> I love you guys. So silly. I like how the fire battle is essentially like training for sounds. It's so simple. It also has some new sounds in his head. Like, yeah, this is pirates. Now, done! Hold the phone. I wonder 
I have a pirate sword and I have arrows. Hey, there's this whole theory on this thing. Which is a cat out Because every other monster, including like the mini bobby, has nothing. Realistically. They move. Oh no! A garage? They're in the doghouse now. Oh my god, I love this little guy. If I could just be able to shoot him. That's a little bit strange, Toby. Alright, I'm going to be right back because I need to do something real quick. But, <sighs> quick break. It's been fun so far, though.
you are back. I lost some papyrus, unfortunately. But we've got a full heal. I like that though. It, that, that implies that papyrus made sure that you were healed. That you were okay. He's such a silly little guy. We love silly little guys. Special attack. I think he's fun. We survived the virus. Actually, it's easy to ask, but it's a bad Very difficult. Very difficult battle. I have. And the most battle.
it's there. So. Must be friends. I've already managed to get the friend zone. I'm crying. The Switch version has um, Mad Mew Mew for under the thing, but here there's the Dog Nation. I don't have enough for it right now, though. To be honest, I need to try to get the Dog Nation. Maybe. My life would have ended in the gold music. Go as far as I can. I'll save the rest.
I did. I'm going on a date with you. Boy, is it hot here, so it's just me. Poor man's embarrassed. Friend zoned. Two best voices, so far so good. Kind of funny that we're doing this right after being done.
are back. Like ten minutes. Over here, I know a shortcut. This also means that we're not gonna get gas or petrol, which that kind of sucks. I kind of wanted to get gas because I've never gotten gas before. Fries are burger. Fries are burger. Probably fries. Oh, he's, he's brushing his hole casually. He's so cool. You love the virus. I just said it, little guy. You better leave the virus alone. Back to the waterfall we go. For why? Get the uh, dusty tutu. Ooh, I'm carrying too much. I don't want to waste. Anything, so just gonna get two cinnamon buns, or just one. Oh God! And just throw away the um manly bandana. <laughs> the manly bandana. And then the next time we get the box, we'll just get our stuff. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. Okay, never mind. I said it a lot, but I genuinely mean it. He's such a silly little guy. Just going to the 
is. Bro, I'm gonna get the um, abandoned quiche. Quiche? Quiche? I don't know how to say it. I'm very bad. So pretty in here. Oh, Where's... Yes, I am. Can't lie, don't be your way. Watch him, uh. I like washing my tail. On, like mini boss or whatever is um uh, um name oh, so good so nice of you that I need to remember your favorite non mini boss name. value. I'm very sad. I'm satisfied with this, uh, the wrong number song. Because the wrong number song is very silly. I love that, honestly. So that's like, it's like, a lot of people like view that and like, oh my god, it's lore. Well, I think it's just something that was supposed to be silly because most of the fun values aren't like um, lore related except for all the gasolines. What a goner kid. I feel like possibly um, the lower um, fun value ones, I don't think those are lore related, but past like 60 or whatever, that's where all the lore related ones come in. Yes, thank you, Sans. We appreciate this. Of course, 
risk. <laughs> you got a black eye. Well, pink eye. Then there's a weird thing. One of the Um, and that's speedrunner. So I don't need it. <laughs> Most um speedrunners use that to like um glitch the game and skip a bunch of cutscenes, which uh oh, we don't do that here. I love this story, so. Besides, I don't think you could do that on the PlayStation anyways. Or you can, and I just have never tried. I've never successfully done the glitch. I've gotten kind of bugs before, I just don't know how to do it, though. I'm not gonna bother trying. You get it later. Onion. Onion son. Anyway. Um, I'm not gonna do the whole concert. Hello! <laughs> I'm not gonna do the whole concert because I'm trying to get to a save real quick. Maybe I'll do the, um, get the ancient artifacts or get the dog residue. I don't know what the next save is, honestly. Should be soon. Yep, true pacifist. We just finished um, genocide, so and now we're doing true pacifist. Trying to get the clue. I've eaten it twice. I've eaten it three times. This was my third time, actually. I did it um, on my switch two times, and then this is my third. This is my third time on. And first time on the PlayStation, so you should. Genocide's fun. I like like the back, like the information that we get about the characters and how they act and whatnot. I like the, like I'm a story person, basically. I'm carrying too many dogs. Deploy the dog. Get the dog residue. It's a good item because you get the dog sell it and you can sell it to Temi and get like Oh you play on PC? I have never played on PC. Not that I really want to anyways because um I don't know. Playing on PC seems difficult. And I like to play with a controller. I'm pretty sure, like, you probably do, like, something like hook your controller up to the PC or whatever. So, could have done that. Could do that if I ever do get the game on, on like, the computer. But, like, I have it on, like, PlayStation and Switch. I don't feel like getting it on the computer as well. 
even though I do love to Toby and his works. He is a very talented man. Yes, I know that. <laughs> That's the one thing I'm missing out on, first dancing. I don't get the first dance. I can kind of first dance, but I can't first dance in the quality that you, you like, computer players can. <laughs> like, this is the best first dance you're going to get. It's going to look all weird. You're going to move a little bit. You're not going to get a good first dance. Like, this is, yeah. There's... You can't properly do it. <laughs> you played on mobile? There's a mobile port? I didn't know about that. What is it? Oh, you be undying, undying on mobile? That sounds difficult, honestly. Because I play on, like, Delta Traveler on mobile. but And that's, like, a whole experience. So I don't understand how you be, like, genocide on um, mobile. Especially with Undertale. Especially with Sans. Ugh, that sounds like a nightmare. Got halfway through sands. Dang. That battle cannot be easy in mobile. In fact, I can only really imagine it now. Can you spare a nine about eating water? No, I think she just ups and dies or right? falls into lava because you don't see her in her house afterwards, so I think she just dies of dehydration or whatever. Ouch. Which makes sense because, you know. Yeah, well, um, I don't know, because, like, I've seen a video on it. I haven't done it myself because I just like sparing online, because it's like, might as well. But, um, I don't think she survives. Yeah, you have to for two pets, but I don't, if you don't do it, then you're just going to get locked into the control. seen like the um i haven't done too many neutral routes because mainly i do um true pacifist i've done the no safe run i've done the no heal run I did the run with keeping the snowman piece i just haven't done like the specific like spare this character or kill this person's character i did do betrayal kills only so, that was like terrible. It was so bad. No, you don't. You can go without it, but it's like, it's basically like a um, nice little Easter egg. If you don't eat it, then um, you get the snowman saying, calling songs to tell you that. Very happy. Is very happy with um that. So. And Azrael, yeah. The oh, piece is very useful for Azrael. Because it's a full heal, and not only that is... You're not really using too many of your items. So hopefully you'll still have that. Then you can just replace it with, um, hopes and dreams. Uh, 
Oh. Yeah, you can't give it back, unfortunately. Because he does. Like, I mean, it makes sense. But, um, if you, like, eat it right in front of him, then he'll be, like, very upset and be like, what was that for? Why did you do that? Also, that's just cool to do it. Yeah, you can do it, eat it right in front of him. <laughs> well, because nobody really does that. It's so cruel to eat the snowman piece right in front of the snowman. That's awful. out about it like I didn't I didn't do it but I found out about it because it just randomly appeared and I was like what is this like why would you do this what is your motivation Absolutely insane. It's like, oh, because you're my cousin. This is, this is all because of my cousin. He doesn't even remember his cousin's name. Like, what is this treatment? I love Nasta Blue. Such a silly little guy. Those are my favorite character. Um, Papyrus, Frisk, and Kara are my favorites. <laughs> I'm sure I had them early. Like, um, not main character wise, though, uh, my favorite is. Vulcan. The Vulcan is my absolute favorite when it, it's not like main character wise. Huh? And you'll hit the follow button. Did you hit the follow button? Follow? Follow. Follow. I said follow. I said follow. Only I one out of all the characters, uh, then it has to be uh, uh, da, Papyrus. Then I love Papyrus, he's such he's, he is amazing. Papyrus is so lovable, that's awesome. Why do I not explain it all alone? You can't do this to me. I just got here for help. Daniel, do you know what extra life is? Oh, you don't? I, no, I just... I 
one okay so basically they're um this is like a children's charity for a children's hospital like around around the globe huh Ar around the world basically and it we help raise money for those hospitals so they can put um research into curing cancer like ca curing cancer for kids or just like help the kids out in general um this is something that happens yearly every and we host a 24-hour stream where just raise money and every everything that gets donated today will get donated to extra life where they'll donate to the children's hospitals that is what we're doing here we are 13 hours in currently Here's it's good enough. Maybe next year. Oh, you're just a kid? Fair enough. Maybe next year you can sign up, raise money for your local hospital as well. There's also that. saved thank you daniel for joining it's been very fun everybody else has also been fun thank you caneless as well for helping me and get through through sounds that was very nice motivating me thank you so much it has been extremely fun but my father shall be taking over now tricky will be back playing spider-man in a few moment minutes Thank you.
Hello, everybody. Just gotta set this microphone back up. Let's keep my audio short. Hey, Pete, you got a minute? I could use some perspective on our mutual friend. What'd Jonah do this time? Usually I can deal with... I'm just trying to relax right now. Reminds me of the people who ride into the bugle. And a few who work there. Freedom of speech is a beautiful thing. But saying a thing over and over again doesn't make it true. I see him! Stay the slide arm! Uh-oh. You don't look like you were expecting company. <laughs> to do those when I have a cigarette. No combat with a cigarette. The data I pulled from that base was right. This is a hunter blind. Maybe I can learn if there's another base nearby. I heard you challenged Craven once. <laughs> Is that actually true? A few years ago. Stupid. I didn't understand what he was trying to mold us into. He struck me down with the most power. But he lived. Only because I kicked him with a hallucinant. Got some reconnaissance on my to-do list. 
find out here. Enforcement button! a better run but not where I need to be all right we gotta we gotta get stronger before we do this for the damage. Okay, what else can we do? Because we are getting a 
What's handed? What's with that? Yeah, let's uh swing away. I'll come back later. Yeah. <clears throat> Show it on there. That's a whole lot of bees. That's a lot of nesting boxes. Good. Dear, thanks for your help here. As before, we're training the drones to identify predators like rats and beetles so they can guard the bees' nesting boxes. Okay, let's get things booted up. Time for target practice. The bodyguards, Queen's edition. Giving new meaning to Queen's B. Ooh, that's a big guy. Rat attack, rat. Unidentified predator detected. Uh-oh, what's that? Better go check that out. Whoa, that bird. It's going after the nests. Trying to eat the bees. Aha. Neuropody albicollis. The white-throated bee-eater bird. It's right there in the name. I need to shoot this bird back to wherever it came from. I wonder if this drone has a real-world mode. Cool. Now I can really encourage this bird to get going. If I can find out where it came from, I can see if there are others. Hey, bird! I can't follow you if you don't move. Get going! I'm giving you a little push. Mush! Mush, birdie! Keep it moving, buddy. You gotta shoot him to scoot him. Gotcha, birdie. Can't have you eating up the bees of queens or the queen bees. Huh, so this is your home. You must have escaped from here and gone out for a snack. Doors propped open. Better close it before you escape again. I think I'm done for now. The drone will pilot its way back to home base in no time. Yeah. I'm not sure bee-eating birds are a citywide threat, but I'll mention it to Dr. Young. We should definitely program the drones to look for outliers like that.
<clears throat> Hope Dr. Foster doesn't mind. Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community, starting by improving our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. Let's scan these vines. Clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. Okay, got some great samples. <sighs> Time to bring them together. I can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. This one. Let's see. Okay, so it can't be this one. It has to be this one. This one has to go Wait there. To see this, grow. this has to go here. This one has to go this there. Works. These plants will be growing faster and bearing more fruit than ever. And this one has to Just go. imagine what Feast could do with all of that. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Yikes, yeah, gotta patch this up. Some webs should be a trick. Multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. I gotta take care of those boxes to get to that leak. Just a few more to patch up. Pipes blocked by that. Be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. Am I missing a leak? Yes, I am.
May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? I see another he comes. And I think this should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. All right, so looks like my division crew wants to go, so we'll be back in a second with the division two. So I said he'll come all the way down here, just to, or, or all the way up here, just to whip your ass. That's not true. <laughs> the stream heard him say it, so you could watch it on stream. Uh, okay. You heard me. I didn't s -s stutter. Thank you, dear. Tross. No. That's not true. Don't you dare tell the goddess that. Tross says, keep talking shit. He's going to come up here right now. <laughs> Stop telling the goddess that. Stop it. <laughs> so, he, he said he's a good Christian boy, but you know what? He'll defend his boy, Tricky. Yeah. Oh, my God. Stop. Tr <laughs> Stop. <laughs> don't get the goddess on him. Don't. I know. You, I don't need you the like how I'm just able to keep this going? I know, it's pissing me off. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't believe this one bit, just so you know. Okay, good, because I'm like, hey, don't get her on me. No, 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 she, she, she knows I do this. 
I do this with everybody. She's like, really? Yeah, uh -huh, sure. Okay. All right. I don't even know why I logged into this character, because... <sighs> um, yeah. No, he, he he was legit getting worried that I was <laughs> that you were gonna get pissed off at him. I know you're a clapper. You hear? <laughs> oh, the goddess he, is hilarious. He legit thought you were gonna get mad at him. He's like, no, no. he's like, he's on the other side of panic. He's like, no, no, don't, 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 don't give me any more of this. He's a clapper. I don't believe shit that comes out of his mouth anymore. Hey. <laughs> I'm on a charity for children. Watch your damn language. You know what? Now, now you have to stick money in the donation jar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> She's like, I'll spend 20 bucks. <laughs> uh, all right, Wait, so, can they hear me? Uh, the stream can. She can't. Oh, okay. I'm not going to spoil anything about Spider-Man then. Wait, hold on, though. Hold on, though. How did you feel about the first encounter though the first was, oh, the opening scene it was fine it was annoying but it was fine you didn't like the uh, the very first boss fight no it was more annoying than anything because it, it okay granted it wasn't very clear about what to do the sandman yeah so i was literally swimming around him waiting for <laughs> peter to find a water source Okay, not, okay, that part I do agree with you. It's not not realizing clear. that I had to go in and actually shoot webs at him and shit. Right. I, I do. Oh, sorry. And shoot. But I do. Rem, I, okay, I do agree with you on that. They were not very clear that you had the web. I am a spider. Now leave me alone. I'm streaming. Did you see what I have to do with so, Okay, enough. She's still singing it, but now she's singing it lower. I'm putting a headset on. I can't hear you no more. Tross. Did I lose Tross? Wait, send, send that invite one more time. Sorry. My oh, wife needed me for a second. <clears throat> I was going to say. I can't. I can't uh, I cancel the invite. Here, maybe I can join you. Let's do that route. Hey everyone joining the stream. I'm uh, the better half of Tricky and I'm just super awesome and uh, get ready to have a good time. Yeah, okay. Just know I, I play, I'm just, you know, I'm just better than Tricky in all forms. So. Yeah, he's got more hours in the game, but he's lower shade level. What does that tell you? That I don't cheat at the game. Oh, Bazinga. Yeah, you don't cheat at the game, but you're the one that got vanned and I didn't. Hey, well, hold on. Semantics. <laughs> it's facts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's, it's facts. Yeah, I really need to expose you on stream? Go ahead. Expose me. That you did it too, but somehow I... you somehow didn't get banned? You know why? Because I'm a content creator. I know you. I know. <laughs> no, I have no idea why you get banned. <laughs> Fucking. I should have got. Hey! Oh, sorry. Freaking wids. Uh, no, I, can't, I probably can't say that on this. No, say whatever you want. Wids, but it, it was just crazy how some content creators <coughs> in this game did not somehow get banned, even though they admitted they cheated. Oh yeah, remember that one? That one who really admitted he's like, "Yeah, I'm doing it." <laughs> he's uh, like, oh, "Yeah, I am doing it." You know what? Uh, Ek one was the one that exposed oh, it. Oh my god, Ek man, what is Never he up to nowadays? He doesn't stream anymore. Because he gained such a following while that uh, glitch was going on, mm -hmm. and then once that once he got banned and everybody, and he turned. He's like, I can't believe the division uh, banned my account. Blah 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 blah. And oh really? No, nothing against UK people because you know I love my UK people, but he had that typical, you know, I'm better than everybody British attitude. Yep. And everybody, like, it's like this guy's such a douchebag. Well, the thing was, it's just, I love when people are like, oh, man, I can't believe they actually banned me. And I was like, but you publicly went out and said that I'm doing this. Ban me. See, <laughs> it's, this is what so people stupid. do. 
See, this is what people need to do. Like, if you find a glitch in the game, don't put it on the internet, on YouTube, saying, hey, everybody, this is how you do it. Give it to the devs and let the devs handle it. So yeah. now, so the devs are appreciative of it, and they turn around and go, hey, you know what? Let's give this guy some praise and give him some free stuff because he helped fix the game mm -hmm. instead of telling thousands of people how to expose our game. Well, that's what happened with... Uh... You, you, the three big ones. You, you, you know what I mean by saying the big three big ones, right? Wids. Uh, why can't it be Marco, Marco Styles? Mm hmm. And. Well, Marco uh, just quit. Yeah. Marco was just over it. I'm talking about the three big ones now. What are the three big ones now? Oh, definitely Kamikaze, Von Doom. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of Nothing but skills. Either. And. Probably gold. the one you hate. Oh. oh. Uh, nah, he doesn't. He doesn't even do. Uh, you talk about uh, Lieutenant Les Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. He doesn't even do division content. He's on <clears throat> Ark and Ark and what's what's the other game he's playing? Uh, Starfield. Oh. That's lame. I definitely yeah. think Kamikaze Von Doom for sure. He's probably the biggest one. I'm hearing like the. Uh, the I'm hearing like. He's pissed off the community where the community's like he's blocking members of the community. Really? Yeah, it was, there was a big thing about it. I've been watching uh, Real Gold lately. <clears throat> I, I like his Real content, Gold, man. Real Gold's great, man. He's a, he's a true like in my opinion, he's a true division man. He just loves this game, man. Like that's why I like you like you need to check out Identity. And people on stream, if you like Division 2, check out Identity, man. I love him. I watch, uh... You know whose videos <laughs> I really, really love? is NGN. He's good, too. He's a he, guy who he, truly loves the game. He, he actually works for... Well, it doesn't work for Ubisoft, but... Ubisoft actually reaches out to him because of all his Divisional lore videos. Oh, they're so good, dude. But he... I remember watching his videos before, like, he got, like, really, really recognized. He's like... Mm -hmm. I know people use my videos to go to sleep for since my voice is so monotone. Oh, dude, it's so good, man. <laughs> He's like, I know, and <clears throat> I just appreciate you giving me a click and a follow. <laughs> He's like, it's I know. Not even that, it's not even that his voice is monotone. It's made for radio. It's so good. <clears throat> I was actually disappointed when he showed his face. Yeah. Not that he's a bad-looking guy or anything, just... But yeah, man, Identity, Tuxedo Bandito, I like him a lot, too. Uh, I do like Kamikaze. I know a lot of people don't, but I, I do like his vids every now and then. You and know, I do you, like... You know what I always read about Kamikaze? What's up? Is he does that intro... Where'd you go? Oh, I went back oh, to the Oh, and, and it takes so freaking long. Well, it's not even that, but it's like... He... He like walks up to this place where he's gonna do the the pound thrust and the you know the thriller walk, yeah, and it's yeah. like just start the video there. Like yeah, you don't have to walk yeah. us there until you want to do that, or well, just have that segment like pre-recorded so you don't have to manually do it every time. Well, were you the one who told me that? Uh, I don't know if I heard it from, but. They have to be a certain length of video in order to get monetized or something. I can't. Ten remember. minutes. Yeah, I don't think I told. I don't think I told you that. But his videos aren't even ten minutes. Yeah. So yeah, that's weird then. And and at at most, he, by doing that, he's adding maybe thirty seconds. Like I, like do your videos. I don't care. But just know, just you no. Know, I hope he knows that. Like every time I watch one of his videos. I instantly fast forward with 30 seconds. <laughs> right. <clears throat> oh, shit. You know who I used to respect, but now I really hate? Who's that? Freaking born the game, dude. What? I watched one of his videos, and I was like, I'm out. Dude, the one I sent you about the, inc yeah. about the incursion? Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. I was out. I was like, this guy. What a hot take. Oh, it was so bad, dude. I, I get if you don't like content. I really do. Uh, but, you know what, hold his on. His was, his was hold, terrible. Hold on a second. Oh, I got the hiccups, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure your voice is being picked up, because I changed some audio settings. 
So I want to make sure people hear you on Twitch. Oh, mm. man, I got some good. I might become famous after this. After this, I mean, I'm willing to stay with you for a while. I'm willing to stay with you for a while. Yep, your voice is being picked up. All right. Uh, yeah, we just because just... we're doing the children's charity, we can't have our normal conversations. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Like, no, 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 no. I mean, like, no, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm thinking like no. we're gonna get comfortable. We're gonna start talking. Like, oh shit, I forgot we're streaming. <laughs> Uh, no, but like his his take on the incursion was the worst see, take I, I've ever heard. I ever. don't mind people like not liking content. My problem with people doing content on videos, and especially it it's what uh, Buzz Light Lightbeer is doing now, is you're giving out false information because of a you think you know information, but mm -hmm. the way you're talking is if it's fact. Instead of opinion. Mm -hmm. And he started doing it really like when the division had some issues. And I get it. Like, division had issues. You're upset. You know, fix the game. You, it shouldn't be, you know, uh, Delta and all the time and all the stuff. I get all that. I really do. But it's things like now where he's poo-pooing on the day before. Now, don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, that game's dead. It's not. I, I I'm really curious if that game is ever going to make it to. Nah, the it's world. in development. It's in development. H -E double hockey sticks. Well, it. Well, you can say hell. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I mean, technically, we can curse too. It's like. Yeah, but, but um, it, it's for the kiddos. Yeah. Um. I I think there's some serious issues with that game. Don't get me wrong, but. It's like oh, the game just got delayed again. You know, what are the developers doing? They showed us a trailer, and it, it doesn't really show us anything. And all this stuff, I'm like, they showed us some things. Like, where the hell did this guy go? Yeah, why is he? I don't, I don't know what we're It says rendezvous with Peacekeeper. He's right here. Yeah, but he's fighting. Kill this guy real quick? Let me kill this guy real quick. And now we got to wait for this guy to run all the way back. But no, like, uh, going back to your thing, I agree. That's why I hate Born the Game's take on it. He was like, oh, the incursion was just so hard. I immediately ran up to a turret and I died. That means the, like, it's so much bullcrap. And I'm like, what? Like, I, like I'm not, not going to lie, Trick. I, I didn't even watch the whole video. I watched the first five minutes on the first segment, and I was like, I'm over it. I'm over it. Like, this guy's take is so bad on the incursion. Okay, why are we doing this like it's an actual... Yeah, I don't know. This is weird. Because these guys just literally just came out the door. Okay, so now it's saying the peacekeeper. Where... Okay, now he's over there. I, I got two. I got a diamond down there. I got a diamond if over you here. Hear, if you hear crying, then my son's waking up. He was oh, like, fine. fine. <clears throat> can... can Wait, oh wait, this is a, a control, this is a supply. Or, uh, I'm sorry, resource convoy. Okay, but, okay, now I can talk to him. Oh, you got some next XP. Yeah, you know, I like, saw that. I saw that when we came in, but I was like, uh, I thought they went in already. Uh, but, but I agree with you, it's like, but if you, sh if you, if you poop on a game, to just to poop on it, that's not fair. <laughs> Well, see, he, he, okay, so <clears throat> here's my pseudo hot take with the day before. Do I think it's a very good chance that this game is going to fall on its face? Absolutely. Like Skull and Bones. <clears throat> okay, well, well, Skull and Bones, see, Skull and Bones and this are, are different in the fact that Skull and Bones is coming from a known studio that's put out quality games before. And it might actually be a game. And it might actually be a game. This <laughs> studio has started and stopped five different games. Yeah. Like, I don't think the day before is ever coming out. That, that, that's my take. Well, I think it, it scammed a lot of people. And Well, if you watch the video, sucks. if you watch the video that they just put out, they... And there's a patch notes on Steam. They're saying that the game is going to come out on December 8th, I think it is. Of this year? Yes. 
It was originally supposed to come out in November. They delayed it a little bit. They didn't announce a delay. They just said it's coming out. Like I think it's December 8th, they said. With that being said, they said it's going to launch in early access. And that the games will come... Uh... And that the game will come out to full when they're satisfied they've right, met a thing. But they've also said they anticipate it being in early access for 6 to 12 months. So basically they're releasing it for beta. <laughs> so people can test it and make sure it works. Right. Now, PC games do that all the time. Yeah. Okay, let's let's be real. PC games do that all the time. Oh, I know. But what they didn't say, and what they should have said, is they're not releasing the console version until the PC version is set. So while everybody on the console thought they were getting this game in a month, and then it, it, they said, okay, it's getting delayed, uh, you know, another month. Now, what they say without saying it is that uh, this game's really not coming to consoles for at least another year. So, yeah. okay, now with all that being said, do I get Buzz's take on it? Yes. But he's making assumptions about the game without, like, there being a message about from the developer. But, like I said, the developer is not really being clear, so people have to make assumptions. I get that. You're poo-pooing on a game without it, without facts, and you're presenting it as facts, and that's my problem. You want to say, listen, I think that, I think this game is a development hell, blah, 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 but you poo-poo on the game, and there's no confirmation of what you're saying, but you're presenting it as it, all the information you're saying has been confirmed. That's where I have a problem with content creators. No, I agree. Because you're doing it out of ignorance. That That's why, like, you're a fan of the podcast. Mm. If you listen to the podcast, I'm always very clear to say, this is my opinion. I don't know this from anybody. I don't, I didn't hear this from anybody. Nobody confirmed this information to me. This is just how I feel. Yeah. And then when we've had devs on and we've had people talking, I've said to them, hey, this is what I think is going on. Is there any truth to this? And most times the dev would be like, there is, but there isn't. Like, you're right about this, but it's not exactly that way. I'm like, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, I agree. Recommend alternative route. You could have just stayed down there and did oh, the door. Oh, shit. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Oh, poop. Um. <laughs> Listen, we're going to curse. Gonna tough. We're Listen, I... I, I don't care if you curse, honestly. We just, we, we just can't have <laughs> now if I was people on here. If I was if I was actually streaming on the uh extra life page where I used to do, yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, All right, we uh we can't have Trust talking because he's got a potty mouth. Alright, so for anybody watching this, uh whether it's in the stream now or you're watching this on YouTube later. Uh, what we are doing, um, actually, it's funny, Ka Kamikaze Von Doom actually put out a video about this, uh, of mm -hmm. how to do this solo. Recently, yep. So, what we're doing is because, okay, so, let me, Tross, come in the room for a second. All right. So, Tross is level 2204. So, we're just going to use him for example. I'm actually a higher shade level than him, but, uh... What you do is you create another character and you use the uh, level 30 boost, which actually puts you straight into the Warlords of New York. Mm -hmm. And as you go through the missions, you do like I'm doing right now. Like, obviously, it says I'm level 32, but I'm not really level 32. I'm 3,400, I think. Um, yes, but as you go through this again, um, after you beat Keener... And you'll see me do it on the stream. Um, after you beat Keener, my level automatically jumps from 40 up to 3,400. Which then gives me uh, 
levels on my watch in which I can get resources. So we, I call this the resource run. Some other people call it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they actually I call it. I think everyone calls it. I think everyone calls it a resource run. To be quite honest. Um, but this is actually, if you're trying to get resources and you're a high enough level, this is absolutely the best way to do this. No, hundred percent. And I need to do this eventually. Yeah, and uh, right now I'm expertise level twenty three. Mm -hmm. oh, so nice. I don't you have to do more level. Yeah, I don't have to do this much more. Um, and a couple of those levels, I can. Uh, I got the two new gear sets. I have to max out, but that just takes countdown runs to do. Oh well, we can do that tonight too if you want to. Yeah. Um, but. So the watch is broken down into five sections. Uh, the only section we're going to worry about is the, res the resource level. And you'll see this, obviously, when I get there and everything. Um, so you instantly take off 800 levels. So in Charles's case, uh, you take it off 800. He's automatically down to 1404. So, uh, hold on. I had... Sweet Mama D was streaming earlier, and she moved the height of the mic. And now it's too low for me. Uh, and because she did it without twisting it, now there's, like, no strength in it. Uh, Actually, I mean, I still hear you just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just... You, oh, you're hearing me on the, uh, the headset, where the stream is hearing me on the podcast, or the streaming oh, mic. Gotcha. So, I just I looked over and I saw the levels, and the levels were a little low. I mean, they still hear me and all, but you gotta remember they're also competing with the uh, the game sounds. Um, yeah. So that would leave Tross with only fourteen hundred levels. Now, obviously, that's enough. Um, but you know, it's not the highest. I mean, we have some friends that are shade level eight thousand, which they do this once, and it's the equivalent of me doing it four times. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, there's always an enemy back here. They're on you. Oh, there they are. Where is he? I got him. Um, so, I know a lot of what I'm saying to you sounds like a lot of information, but I promise you once we beat Keener, this will all make perfect sense. Um, and there's a couple steps you have to do to make sure you have to share your resources uh, between your accounts. But, uh, Charles, I actually found something out. So, when we make the third, like, when we make our secondary character, right? Like I'm doing right now. Instead of deleting this character, you leave it up. Just leave it alive. And as you play on your main character, any shade levels you gain on your main character, you also gain on this character. Yeah, I knew that. I didn't know that. So I'm I'm sitting here and I'm getting, you know, I went back to a character I just, I, for some reason I just didn't delete. And I had 50 shade levels on that character that I didn't even know existed. So as you do this, you know, just and I'm saying this for the... The audience now, as you do this, just leave the character up and then just go play in your main character for a while. And then every so often, just check back in on this character, and you'll have a whole bunch of shade levels that you can do resources with. All right, so, um, okay, everybody that's watching this, also, the what we, you'll notice, like we're going through. So, oh, let me show you the manhunt right now, quick. So, you, I, what I do, um, is I do up to the levels of where I'm going to go into the main mission. So Vivian Conley, we've done the three things. The three things were uh, clear out that um, control point, uh, go to the safe house, and then obviously the mission we just did. So now we're able to go kill Vivian. Uh, Theo, you saw us go to the safe house and uh, go get the drone. His next mission is his main mission, and then there's a mission after him. Dragonoff is the uh, go to the safe house, do the main mission, and then there's a mission after that, Pier 26. 
And then Kajika, which is Tross's worst, Ugh. least favorite one. Um, it's three things and then him. So you'll notice that, like, I'm stopping before we go to the main missions is because I what I try to do, uh, and we're going to do, we'll do the uh, bo- the bank later, so we'll do Kajika last. Um, so I try to get up n- enough levels so when I go into the main missions, I'm not just like a bullet sponge. Well, no, I wouldn't be the bullet sponge. I'd be a bullet magnet. And uh, another pro tip for this is if you're going to do this, try to do it with a friend um, yes. that's level 40 because the XP difference is tremendous. Where if I was doing this alone, every kill I get is, I think it's 190 experience. Where if I'm doing it with Tross, it's 1,600 to 1,900 per kill. It's a big difference. Because you have to be level... The, the goal is to be level 40 before you get to Keener. Because you can't even get into Keener's mission until you're 40. What are we doing here? I was just trying to get to the safe house. Uh, this, I, what are we doing right now? This is, uh, this is Kajika's side. No, this isn't Kajika. This is, uh, Dragonoff. Oh, no, this, yeah. So, uh, I think, yeah, I think we're just going to the safe house now. Because he's only got, uh, oh, no, he's got yeah, the safe house and then his main mission. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> and then that side mission, but that's after you beat Yeah. And there's a there's a side mission that you have to do, uh, which is uh, Castle Clinton. Um, mm-hmm. You have to do that, but I think that I, I think that actually unlocks after you do. Drag uh, off, I think. No, I think it actually unlocks after you do Conley. Because I was able to do it before I did any of the main mission, or after I did did her mission. He's stuck at. He's stuck behind it. So, uh, now if you're doing this like I am, like on my side where I'm trying to get the resources, uh, just make sure that your buddy doesn't fast travel to these places because then you lose that on XP. Like right now, you'll notice that like when I go in, you'll see that I get XP for just discovering it, and then when I actually open it up. I get XP for that. We should try and run an incursion tonight. But maybe with like randoms. Oh, I'm not doing it with randoms. I ain't shot in hell. <laughs> the only reason I'm doing the incursion now is to get a flawless. <laughs> and I still feel bad about that. Nah, dude, you're good. The, the night before, I mess it up, and it, it, all three of us mess it up in some way. Don't feel bad. <clears throat> nah, it's just stupidity. I messed it up. That's. Oh, dude. Like I, I, kn- I know. You know I did something stupid. <laughs> Trust me. Listen, I, I know it's like it is what it is, but this is like. Uh, all right. So we unlocked Dragon off. So now we're going to go to the skyscraper. Wait, to where? I'm going back to settlement to go to start up Kajikas. Oh, do that side mission? Gotcha. Uh, Because this one is literally just get to the safe house. Which is a little disappointing. I think I'm gonna have to buy some uh, some levels on the apparel event. I had some little extra credits, and I went ahead and bought a couple levels, and I leveled up. I'm already 100 already. No, I'm talking about the apparel, not the season. Oh, that too. <laughs> I'm that. not really into this apparel event at all. Like at all. I I just I have FOMO. Like I know like yeah, every, I 
I know everything that we're picking up in these caches I can get, but it's that last item for unlocking all of them that never goes into the general loop pool. I'm like, eh. like I know I'm never going to wear it, but it's like, I got to have everything. Like, it, no, it, it's killed me that I, I can't get all the descent comms, but I'm not going through that thing 50 times. No, it's not worth it. Until they add a checkpoint system, it's not worth it. Do you know there's 50 comms in that now? It's insane. <laughs> and no one wants to play it because there's no checkpoint system. No one has time to sit there for eight hours just to go on to level 20. <clears throat> well, you just got to kill a nemesis for a comm, but you can only do it once a week. It's so stupid. It's like, remember in the nemesis? Yeah, so even, even if we did it, like, started getting every comm now... We would not have every com for a period of one year. That's insane. It's like when the Nemesis, that, that project happened, right? It, it took uh, six weeks. Yeah, because you had to wait for the invaders to rotate. Mm -hmm. And it took a month. Or no, it took every uh, two weeks or something like that. <clears throat> was that the Nemesis or I thought that was the Chatterbox? Both. No, the Chatterbox is when you opened up that random box, remember? I thought the chatterbox yeah, was. Boxes. Yeah. I, you had to get but one in. Those uh, are random. Th there was one in George Washington. There was one in. Uh, yeah, else? but those were random. Those were random drops, though. The. Uh, oh, excuse me. The nemesis was the. Uh, you had to wait uh, every two weeks for it to rotate. And it was so stupid. I was playing uh, Spider Man. I tried to do my first uh, Hunter Dest. I got my ass handed to me. Dude, the game's hard now. It's hard. I think about dropping down difficulty. <laughs> I'm going through my second playthrough. I'm on Spectacular. I'm on, it's I hard, man. You have to use your abilities and you have to use your gadgets. I think I'm on normal and I'm getting my ass handed to me. The best advice I can give you is you have to use your gadgets and you have to use your abilities. You just have to. If you just use, like, just spam square, it's not going to work. Nah, my, well, I mean, what I'm really having a problem with is just uh, dodging. Oh, it's you got to dodge a lot. Yeah, it's like every time I get two hits on somebody, it's like this guy's hitting you or this guy's shooting you. It's like I can't focus on an enemy. I will say, once you get more, like, uh, into your skill tree, it's going to be a lot better. Because my favorite move is if you hold down triangle and hit R1, like a guy with like a weapon, mm -hmm. it rips their weapon out of their hand and it smacks them in the face. And it uh, it can be an instant knockout sometimes. Yeah, I, I have my, that. Uh, I love that move. I have that almost unlocked right now. You're so good. I love that move. I think I, either I just unlocked it or I'm about to unlock it. I don't know if you've experienced them yet, but the worst enemy in the entire game is the crossbow enemies. Uh, I cannot stand them. I don't think I got to the crossbow yet. What's annoying me one, now is the dogs. Those dogs. You probably have seen the crossbow guys. The guys who, like, jump up on, uh, uh, they can, like, zip around everywhere. And they have, like, hoods on, and they have, like, crossbows, and they shoot, like, like explosive crossbows at you or whatever. I, yeah, I think... Well, I haven't seen them zip it around, but that's mostly because, you know, I'm focused on an enemy that's right next to me. Those guys, I'm telling you, those crossbow ones, they, they are the worst. They killed me more than anything in this entire game. They were in that entire game. <clears throat> I'm just surprised, without a name, that they just willy-nilly killed that character. I'm like, wow. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep that just yep. came out of nowhere. I was like, I get it. Fits the story. But I'm like, wow. It's like, 
No consideration, just dead. Well, you know why he did it, right? Because he, he kind of made fun of the MCU a little bit. Because he was like, we got to have stakes. And it's like, if you have this hunter or this thing that hunts people. You, you can't know, just let like, everything live. He, he, exactly. So he's like, we have to kill something off. And we decided to do this. And he's and he he went on an interview. I don't know if you've seen the kind of funny or the GameSpot one. They were like, "Yeah, we are not bringing them back. They are dead, dead, dead." I was like, "Okay." He's like, "Cause you have to have stakes." I was like, "Why are you gonna make this threatening enemy when all of a sudden you just bring them back to life?" I get it, but it's just you know, it's 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 a it's a it's a move to kill off a. Major character. <laughs> oh. oh, you're going to see a lot of that. Oh, I don't know if this was underneath the stairs. Oh. What is it? It's a component. Okay. Sorry. The Kamikaze video of doing this solo, it's a half hour long, and I saw it as I was streaming today, so I was like, I don't have time to watch this. A half hour? There's no way you can do this in a half hour. I, I don't know. I don't know if he'd like he just... He has to be glitching something. There's no way you can he can said all these missions and all these side missions in a half hour. He said no glitching, but now, with that being said... He might just be showing, like, I didn't watch the video, so he, so he might just be showing, like, the main missions or what he's doing. He may have edited it down. He didn't say it only takes me half an hour to do this. He just said this is... I was going to say, at least 45 minutes. I think the shortest I've ever done this was two hours, and that was with three level 40 people. I mean, this is the process. It's a good one and necessary, and I'm glad they said they were never going to get rid of it. Did they actually say that? Because I don't People remember them saying that. that. This was like boosting. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, they said this isn't boosting, but I don't know if yeah. they. But that doesn't mean they're not going to patch it out one day. Nah, the, I, I think they're going to keep it. But yeah, people were worried that the, that this was considered boosting because remember in Ubisoft like. Brought those uh, terms of service or whatever, and they're like, oh, if you boost, you're going to get banned and things like that. And people were afraid of this being boosting. Well, I mean, let, let's be real about something. There are people with, you know, their shade level 10,000 and shit like that. And oh, I saw a guy with 100,000 the other day. Their, their expertise is, you know, maxed out off the start. That okay. kind, of, that kind of shit. It's it's like okay, you're abusing the system because, you know, whether you like it or not, massive put this the expertise system in for another reason for you to grind. They didn't put it in there for you to be done with it in a day. We well, also heard diesel too. It's like it makes a difference, so it like bridges the gap between the guys who just sat there and glitch the warhound you know right versus the guys who are actually playing the game people who are actually playing the game are going to do better than those guys because their expertise level is through the roof oh i didn't get the calm up there oh grab it oh watch this echo I'll try going through. Oh, I guess. I guess it worked. Yeah, once I start it, it goes through. <sighs> All right. So, for everybody watching, this is where we start doing the main missions now. Oh, my God. Shut up. What do you want to do first? We could, we could do Kajika and go clockwise. Yeah, let's get that. All right, so I'm, the I'm just showing everybody. So now he can fast travel because the expertise doesn't matter, or the experience doesn't matter. Um, so his pathway, here's detention, uh, straight edge tanker, which I still think is a uh, 
so lost uh they lost a chance for a good location for it but it is what it is I still think they should have done it at the sanitation garage they were that close alright so Tross uh, why don't you tell the listeners or the viewers why you hate this mission so much <laughs> well here's the reason I hate this mission for one you fought the boss the main boss is Kajika, of course, because you're going after these man hunts, and each main mission goes after uh, a rogue agent. The reason I hate this mission so much is because you kill this main boss five times. Why you have to kill him five times? There's no reason why. And also, the most recent why, ro- reason why I hate this mission is because I didn't know that you have to wait for the <laughs> to pop up. That was your own ignorance. And it just makes me mad that I have to do it again. Because this I, mission is long already, and you have to kill him five times. It's just annoying. I, I was running Trost through, like, <laughs> he's running through me now. <laughs> Trost fast travels. <laughs> I said, Trost, did you wait for the, until the said mission completed? He goes, no. He goes, wait, it didn't give me credit on the map. I'm like, <laughs> So, this mission I hate the most, I had to do it twice. It's so annoying. He's right here. Just let me freaking kill him. I just hate this mission so much. I I don't dislike the mission, but what I do dislike is that this mofo shows up just standing there taunting Five you. Times. Taunting you. Five times. You have, like, you have to fight him. Or I, I'm exaggerating. It, it's probably four times. Well, you get, right? Because it's, it, it's, it's once and then three times at the end, right? Is it three times a year? I thought it was four times a day. Because you do the one in the beginning, right? You do the one in the big room. Yep, and then you do the other one where you're like, uh, you have to pull the lever before you pull the lever, right? You have to kill him once, and then you have to do it again. And the, with the steam. After you pull the lever. And then you have to do it again. You so have to, it's, you it's literally four times you have to kill this mofo. Okay, and okay, to be fair, we, yes, we kill him. Because we're high power. Oh, it is five times actually. Because remember, you you fight him and then he dies, then he comes back. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna do this again. Hmm. So it's five. All you right. Kill him five times. So uh, let's count it. But um, now to be fair, you you're not really killing him five times. You get him down to a certain health level. Like this mofo is gonna be standing here. Watch, watch. Like one percent. He's taunting you. Watch. Where, oh, oh no, he's, he's not here. here. He's not talking to you here. Sorry, wrong room. Um, the subway is the one you told me about. Yeah, but there's also no, there's. He taunts you when you lower the water pressure. Mm-hmm. He taunts you at the subway. Hey, wait! Come back here, trick. And technically, he's here in that, right here now. Yes, sir. You see this? Look at the screen. What is it? What does this say right here? The little symbol. Merit. Yeah. They teased the merit incursion from the beginning. No, they actually changed the screen. Oh, they did? Yes. Oh, that's cool. They they <laughs> updated it. There's been several other updates that... Uh, I was watching Rogue Gold's video. Do you know... Um, and we can go by there. Um, that's fine. Because we know the DLC, the story expansion, mm-hmm. is is going to be covering uh, Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. There's actually a new Black Tusk hoverboard or uh, hovercraft sitting right by the control point uh, by Governor's Island. No way. Yep, it's a brand new hover, Black Tusk hovercraft sitting there. While this destruction and devastation all around, there's actually a new hovercraft. We might have to go past that. Because <laughs> that's nuts. I like that they do like little things like that, you know? <clears throat> Alright, uh, hold down the floor for a second. I gotta go use the little boy's room. I do anything. I'll kill this room.
because from the entire time I sat down, I had to stream on the b Ray right back. So everything we just did, half that mission, nobody ever saw. Mm-hmm. That's okay. No one needs to see that mission ever. <laughs> so. Is it fixed now? Yes, I just looked up and went, oh, crap. <laughs> still on the B-Ray right back screen. <laughs> uh, so, sorry, everybody. Uh, we were actually playing and talking this entire time. A dumbass. Dumbass. I totally forgot to hit screen back. Uh, so I'm going to have to explain the Kajika thing <laughs> in another video some other time. Okay. Right. No one needs to see that mission anyways. So this mission and the tanker are tied for my favorite of the New York missions. Tanker's pretty sweet. This one's pretty good, too. Um, now, to be fair, uh, there's two reasons why. One, kind of, kind of, kind of have like a little crush on Vivian. Gross. She's hot. She, uh, have a, she wears a mask. It's the red hair, man. Red head. Come on. All right. Whatever. Um, now, and she's also a cleaner. So I have like a natural connection to her. Surrogate cleaner, but whatever. Go ahead. Say what? Surrogate cleaner, but whatever. Yeah, she took over for Pharaoh. True. All right, keep going. And you know, it's literally like right outside my job. So, <laughs> uh, but this one I like because I like the prison setting of it. Um, oh, so at the start of Spider-Man, um, they send you to, uh, uh, you probably not can remember this too often or too much, but they send you to the corner of Lafayette and Worth. Literally like on the first mission of the game. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Got when, you. when you're setting up the, the drones to get the app back up. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to that corner, and it, it didn't dawn on me because I was, like, still groggy. I was tired. Um, it didn't dawn on me the address until I got there, and I went, wait a second. That's City Hall. So I went to the area, and I'm looking around, and I'm like, they didn't put City Hall in the spider Man. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. So it's I was not like, an accurate depiction of New York, then. No. Like, this is an... It's on a smaller scale, but this is a very accurate description of this area. That, I was like, how do you not put City Hall in? Like, that's the iconic building. You put the... Sta- you, you, you put the Statue of Liberty, which you can't even get to in the game. Yeah, that kind of pisses people off, I'm not going to lie. You, you put the Empire State Building in. Granted, okay, but you don't put City Hall in? Also, you can't, the Chrysler Building's there, but it's not even called the Chrysler Building. Because illegally, they're not allowed to call it the Chrysler Building. Yeah, it's so stupid. So, this, uh, I've told you this many times, but this is called the Tombs. The mission's called the Tombs, which is actually what they call this prison in Manhattan. And this is actually where the prison is, or the jail is, um, in Manhattan. Which, ironically, <laughs> people are a little pissed off that there's a jail in the middle of Manhattan. I'm like, well, where do you expect them to put all the Manhattan criminals? They're not going to bring them to every... Rikers is for Brooklyn, right? Rikers is the prison. They're upset that the jail... Yeah, they're upset that jail is in Manhattan. But, to be fair, it's right outside the city hall. It's right outside the courthouses. It's right down the block from literally where they're, uh, they got Trump on trial. It's like, where do you expect them, where, where do you expect them to put the, the criminals? They're not going to transport them to the outer boroughs. 
But it's the Manhattan elite that don't want. I don't want. I don't want this in my neighborhood. Nah, it's gonna be uh, uh, Sorry, kiddos. The other thing I find funny is. But uh, here's a little uh, trivia for you, as far as. Go down, but it's okay. Uh, here's here's a little trivia for you for uh, your cities. You actually, like, you're not allowed to have a sanitation depot in an area that does not have a police district. Really? Yeah. So, for example, in Staten Island, there are three police stations on Staten Island. And they want to put a fourth sanitation garage on Staten Island, but they're not allowed to because there's not a fourth police station. I did not know. Well, okay, so my ignorance here. Why would they need a police station for a sanitation I, depot? No idea. My that, guess, That's crazy. My guess is it has to do with something about balancing out city resources. And that makes sense. That's my guess. It's, they're trying to say, like, we're not going to put X amount of money into sanitation that we're not matching with the cops. Because it's also... Um, well, you're all paid by the city, right? <coughs> yes. So there's actually something in our contract that states if the cops get a better deal than us on our contract, we're allowed to renegotiate our contract to match them. So I think it has to do with something like that. Now, now this is all based on New York City. You know, this could be different from any other city out there. But hey, that's... If I fast travel to the settlement, can I come right back? Yes. Why? You full? Uh, no, I'm going to grab the Bullet King real quick. I haven't used that thing in a long time. Okay. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but what I find funny is, like... People don't want sanitation garages near their home, which is understandable. Yeah. You don't want, you know, your neighborhood to smell like garbage. garbage. I mean, that's a good reason never to live in Jersey because Jersey just smells like garbage. You just lost half your subgroup. <laughs> <laughs> a, a true story before I get back. You know, I tell a joke. True story. So... I go to Jersey to pick up gas, cigarettes, and Wawa iced tea. Wawa iced tea. Yes, because they don't. There's no Wawa in New York. So, I take Sweet Mama D with me, dude. I'm not even exaggerating. There's one time we we were driving there, and I had, she had the window down. She rolled the window up. She goes, "I was like, what's the matter?" She goes, "We must be in Jersey." <laughs> she goes because I smell it. <laughs> <'Cause> it, <smells. laughs> it. Listen, I'm not even rag. I'm not even ragging on Jersey. It legit smells. Oh, I'm sure it does. Oh, you don't want this Rikers nah. thing? Nah. Stuff? Nah. nah. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So there's actually like where my garage is. Here, I'll I'll even show the viewers because I don't care. So I'll go, I'll go on ahead. Uh, so see this great box right here? That's actually where my garage is in real life. Um, it's literally on the water and has some of the best views, like you can imagine. They want us out of that area because it's prime real estate, and there's developers that want to build condos and stuff like that. They want us to move the garage. The problem is, is that there's no place to put us because every place that they propose to put a new garage, that city council or that board is like, no, you don't put a sanitation garage in my neighborhood. That sucks. Oh, I forgot how good the Bullet King used to be. It still is. I miss the Bullet King. You know, honestly, it's the most aesthetically pleasing gun, too. 
I gotta tell you, I bought the uh, the new premium bundle, the Halloween bundle, just because yeah. just because I like the the skin for uh, the mechanical animal. What is it? Uh, it's a bunch of uh, skulls. Well, that's pretty sweet. Uh, I, I think you can actually still see it. If, uh, go, if you go to the store, go to, uh, and just look at the spooky bundle, it's the neon skulls. It's the one on the top left. I'm a rat of ammo. Shit. Oh, oh wait, I got poop. this. Oh, we're good. Check out the skin. Stop shooting your gun. All right, I'll check it. The Neon Skulls one. B! Welcome to the stream. Now that we're live again, and now that I'm be right back. Oh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Now, as many things as uh, V is raiding with three viewers. Thank you, everybody, for the raid. Appreciate you. We'll wait for you guys to get in here, and then I'll say hi to you all individually. Um, What's that mean? It means that V was streaming, and she had three people watching her, and she, at the end of her stream, she decided to rage, raid my Twitch channel, which then brings all her viewers that were watching her automatically into my stream. Oh, cool. What's up, Bill? So... They're not actually in here yet because it takes a while. Uh, it t it tells me she's raiding, but it takes like I think like a total of two minutes for everybody to transfer over. Um. Yep, V is hyping. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? I can't remember. I don't remember either. <laughs> um, yeah, so they they want to they, they want us <coughs> out of the area, but <coughs> they don't want the garbage in you know their neighborhood. So now we have prime real estate. So I can literally go on my back pier at work, um, and I have actually some of the best views in the world. I can. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I have a clear shot to. Uh, the other side of Brooklyn, I have a clear shot to uh, the Statue of Liberty. And I had the coolest thing that you're going to find to be the coolest is when they do the uh, 4th of July fireworks. Yeah. They literally do it directly outside of my where I work. So I can just walk on the back pier and I have to look straight up and that's where all the fireworks are going off. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Well, you know what they say. Spider-Man 2 got bad reviews from IGN because uh, there was too much water. Too much water. Oh, uh, uh, you know what? I have to give Spider-Man some praise. Um, those air currents. Whoo! They did yeah. those right. Dude, the web wings, bro. The web <laughs> wings are so good. So the the wings actually are annoying me a little bit. Why? I love those things, man. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like it's slowing us down a little bit. V, thank you for the sub. Appreciate you. Uh, seven months strong now. Uh, of course, anybody that's streaming, or anybody that's streaming, anybody that's raiding, any bits, donations, uh, subs, anything, it's all getting set to Extra Life. So at the end of the day, I'm going to add them all up. And I'm gonna personally donate it because I'm gonna I'll get the money later, um, because it's not instantaneous. Cause Switch is like that. Um, Think of the children. No, but see, and what I do, which I found, um, ooh, she said my camera's frozen. Hold on, can you still hear me though? Not on. 
coming fine, across. Do you think? That's fine. Do you think? I got it. <clears throat> okay. So here's the weird thing. It's not actually frozen. It disconnected itself. No, that's not good. So can you figure it out? Yeah, I just gotta trace the wire back. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the problem is I don't know which wire is which. That's fine, do your thing, I got it. Alright. Uh all right, so stream, give me one second. And uh because I gotta turn get the mic. Yeah, I got you. Did they lower the bullet capacity of the Bullet King? I don't know. I feel like I'm going through a lot of freaking bullets here, Lee. It was actually a perfect opportunity because I need to take my dog out. There it is, fine. I'm right here. All right, I'll be right back. So, trust taking a break real quick. Um, I have to chase this wire back. So, give me one second. Alexa, turn on right light. So I found the right wire. But for some reason. It's uh not connecting. Can you guys still hear me? All right, I'm back. I think my stream froze. Oh, okay. That's not good. What do you have to do? I don't know, but I found the wire, uh, disconnected, reconnected it. Camera's not turning back on, and, and the timer on the streaming software is frozen. Uh, but... Can you guys see the game moving? That's weird. So the streaming software is frozen. But everything else is still working. Reopen it? Yeah, I don't want to do that because I, 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 I like this to be a full 24-hour stream. I get it. All right. I'm going to... Kill the stream. I'll be back in less than a minute. The stream is about to commit Kari Kari.